Uh, oddly enough, I was looking through the analytics on my channel and uh, the, the most popular video I have, or as far as the, the video with the most views, is the first video I posted on my electric log splitter. Um, and uh, the second video I posted is, isn't too far behind. Um, so I thought, what the heck, you know, I'm going to be out here splitting some wood. I might as well put up the GoPro and, and take some more video of using the log splitter. It's a Yardmax uh, five ton electric log splitter. It's been great. I've had it almost a year now. Uh, I bet you by the end of the year, I'll probably hit 20 cord through it. Um, I was looking around the wood species I've split with it are uh, red oak, cherry, hard maple, soft maple, ash, and uh, locust. Now, of all of those, the, the sorry about the road noise, the two easiest <clears throat> have been uh, cherry and oak because they're typically a really good straight grained wood and followed by I would say the locust and maple or the hard maple which is a sugar maple I split up and then uh, ash ash is kind of a toss up uh, most times you can split ash pretty well but sometimes you get a piece that's just got a bunch of knots in it uh, so anyway I'm gonna reposition the camera and uh, start using the splitter Before I start using it, I just wanted to give you guys an overview of the condition that it's in right now. You can tell that I, I use it quite a lot. Right here. Um, I think that should be good. And we'll start splitting some uh, cherry. A lot of the rounds I have are uh, a bit smaller. I've split up a lot of the bigger ones already. So I'll try to pick through the rest of my pile and see if I can come up with some larger rounds um, the uh, the beauty of this you know is the adjustability of the return stroke obviously because you can shorten up the cycle time by doing that this ram i think i have it set right at 18 inches but the um, you know the cycle times of these splitters aren't aren't that stellar but if you can uh, if you can have a splitter like this where you can adjust the return stroke you can take out a lot of dead time see to split that the ram actuated forward about i'm going to say about four to five seconds um here was a knotty piece you can see it got through it no problem uh tip about knotty pieces um if you have a, a, a piece of wood, let me see if I can find another one. No, unfortunately, oh, here we go. This one's a little bit smaller on the small side too, but see here, it's got a knot in it. If you, if you have a piece of wood like this, don't put the knot on the wedge side, put it on the ram side here. Uh, I found over splitting tons of wood, literally, uh, you got a better shot of splitting the block if the knot is back by the ram. Now one of the one of the things I don't like about this is the ram doesn't extend, I don't think far enough toward the wedge. But uh, let's see here. There we go. Um, I could have used a little bit more distance, but you can see right here. We had so again, here's the knot. Put it by the ram side. There you go. So again, like I said, if you're if you get a piece that's got a knot in it, put the knot toward the ram. So 
so you can see how wide this one was compared to the the ram height i think that ram's probably about four inches tall so you had about a 10 inch block as far as the diameter but you can see again the ability to um, adjust the ram return stroke really helps out on the cycle time if i develop a rhythm i can get through a cord of wood you know obviously not like a super split or an easton mate or something like that but for what this is i can get through it pretty decent I usually take those, set them here, but because I'm taking video from this angle, uh, I'm moving them out of, way, out of the way so people can see. So I usually go like this, put that there, and then uh, I'll probably get no, it's not big enough. And usually with good straight grain wood, if you can get, you know, once it cracks, you can just pull it apart, no problem. So this one has a decent sized knot from a branch I had to cut off. So let's see how it does. Now sometimes you'll hit it the first time and it won't split. And then you hit it a second time and it'll split. Sometimes you know it's just not gonna happen. In that instance, if you just roll, roll it over like this and try to hit on the edges, splitting it here will then give the, uh, the wood in the center a little uh, relief so that then when you move the round over to split it in the center you'll like it'll it'll split no problem so let's give this a shot and see what we can do right away if we're lucky actually so i can demo that if we're lucky it won't split this and as luck would have it <laughs> it didn't have a problem Okay, let me put this on the ground. So this actually split 
right down the center of that knot. So sometimes, uh, sometimes it'll power through. Now as far as uh, I've been saving this one, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't like to do this. Usually I'll split these by hand, so I don't have to pick them up because I've already picked it up two or three times. But I saved it just for this video. Oh Jesus! <clears throat> so here we go. Will it split this? I don't know. See here? So I tried it once, it didn't split. You can see right here, it's trying. Let's hit it one more time. And it's just not gonna do it. And it's not because it's so big, but back here there's two or three different good size knots in it. So let's try to roll it back this way, give it a little relief and see what we can do. So there, okay. So here, we gave it some, some relief. I'm actually gonna do it one, one or two more times. That's why just splitting it with, by hand with a maul is, this makes this so much easier. Oh, it's getting, it wants to go. There we go. So like I was saying, once I gave it, once I got this piece off here, it gave the rest of the wood some relief. I don't know if that's the right term, but that's what I say. And then it could go ahead and split close to center anyway. Now, if I roll this over, it should be able to split this right in half. No problem. And there anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this video was better than my last video. My last video was just me kind of rambling after a really long day. Uh, until next time, thanks.